so you see that's the nub formed after pollination that one okay and that will form into a cherry so today let me explain to you about self pollination and cross pollination in coffee plants so coffee flowering takes place and this this is a typical flower and you can see the pollen in self pollination for arabica plants the design you can see the pollen is stem is higher than the pestle tube and there is a very high chance of the pollen dropping into the pestle tubes and therefore the male pollen going and engaging with the female ovule forming the nub and the nub forms the carpel the carpel forms into the cherry similarly in robusta the problem in robusta is the design of the flower in my coffee flower in my opinion the pollen stems are a bit lower than the pestle tube therefore finding it hard for the pollen to go into the pestle tubes and mate with the egg ovule female so therefore that's where the bees the wasps come the moths they play an active role in cross pollination so they go on each flower and try to suck the nectar during this process of sucking the nectar from the pestle tube the hairy legs of the wasp catch the pollen and then they go to the next flower so this is flower a it goes to flower b and during the process of sucking the nectar it drops the pollen into the pestle tube and then it engages with the ovule the egg the female so the pollen is the male the egg ovule is the female they mate together and it forms the nub and the nub converts into kind of a carpel the flowers fall off and i will now show you take you straight away to the plant and demonstrate to you how this process takes place so here i am at the plant and i can let, tell you that cross pollination happens only with wind or breeze or also definitely the bees and the wasp and the moth but in arabica plant this is an arabica plant you will see that it self pollination is a method that takes place with a little bit of uh, breeze or even even a shake you know the pollen can drop into the pistil so here i'll be taking you to a flower you see this flower this is day number 16 the flower has dried due to the heat of the sun you will see this is where the pestil tubes are where the bees you know passed in the pollen the pollen went from here all the way in straight into this nub okay this nub now slowly will form into a cherry in in time in another say 10 days you will find cherry but i can show you there there are some which are slowly forming into cherries you will see over here so this will form into cherry and this will become in time will become red and that will be your coffee cherry which will turn into a coffee bean so this is the closest i can get to the cherry formation you can see i will show you and that's where you can see that's the formation of a nub and that forms into a cherry so i leave details of uh, the other processes of coffee of how you're going to pick your coffee how you're going to um, pulp your coffee how you're going to sun dry your coffee all the links will be below on the description of this video so i've got my final explanation so you can see self pollination takes place and then the carpel forms which i've shown you at the plant all these petals these tubes and the nub you know all these drops of the nub forms and then the cherry forms it's green in color then the cherry forms into dark blood red you can say and then it forms into this kind of a this is a section view and this is what comes out of the ripe cherry with the parchment and later it's roasted 
and it becomes a roasted coffee bean with the parchment so this is a typical dark roast and later on we have the you know the final product okay so cheers guys enjoy and i hope i've given you all enough explanation on cross pollination and self pollination for arabica robusta depends on cross pollination cheers guys and have a lovely day so I think I must have given you all enough explanation about Arabica self-pollination and also cross-pollination.